What's going on, YouTube? This your boy, Trucking Name J, checking in, checking in. Whew. What a day, man. What a day. Um, so, as you may have known from previous videos, uh, the plan was to go to Washington Terminal, which is in Sumner, Washington. Uh... Which, by the way, it rains entirely too much in Washington. I mean, like, Jesus Christ. But, uh... Um, I, so I went there, and the plan was to stay there until Thursday, which is when that orientation... Um... I'm sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm a little tired. Which is when orientation lets out for that terminal. Um, normally, orientation is for Swift starts on Monday, lets out on Wednesdays. Um, but this particular orientation at Sumner, Washington, started on Tuesday and let out on Thursday. <clears throat> so uh, after talking with talking with driver services, driver development, uh, same thing. Um, I was told that you know if I came there that they should have a student for me. They couldn't make me any promises, but he was pretty sure that you know he was gonna he was gonna have a student for me. So that's what I did. Um, granted, I had this long load coming from Washington going to. Atlanta, Georgia. It's Mc, really is McDowell, 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 Georgia, but it's Atlanta and everything. You know. But um, with a student running super solo, which is 14 hours a day, I could still uh, make that load on, on with plenty of time. Um, so I sat there, sat there Tuesday, sat there Wednesday, and kept in contact both days with driver development. And here come. Thursday, which is today, earlier today, woke up and uh, cleaned my truck out. I mean, I mean, I, I ain't gonna say clean it out. I just cleaned it. You know, I don't really keep a dirty truck. I'm not gonna say I keep a perfect truck, but um, I do my best to keep my truck pretty clean. Um, I went and got a, a new mattress um, for a potential, you know, student, and uh, just moved some things around so that my student, <clears throat> when he got on the truck, he could be comfortable. You know, I'm not one of those mentors that just put you on the truck and like, I'll oh, get in where you fit in. I just want you, I want you to be comfortable. You know what I mean? I don't want you to be, you know, stabbing me in my throat and, and when I'm sleeping. But, uh, but anyway, so, uh, he said, I got somebody for you. Um, he sent me his information. Now, I'm not going to put his name out there and I'm not one to, uh, judge anyone off of there name or anything like that but i already knew by the name that he sent me um that this person was from a different uh cultural background than myself um so i kind of already knew uh what, what i had coming towards me i've i've, I've had men, uh, uh students that were uh, from a different uh culture different background and i got no problem with it you know as long as we can communicate fluently um which wasn't the case with a student that i had before um, I'm cool with it, you know what I mean? I, I, I don't judge, man. I just, I just ain't got no time for that. Snuff of that going around in the world, you dig? But anyway, so, you know, I already knew, you know, it may, it may be some language barriers or something like that. But to my surprise, um, well, I guess I shouldn't say to my surprise because everyone who's a foreigner, um, doesn't have broken English. So I apologize for that. I'm trying to not disrespect anybody because, you know, once I this situation happened and I calmed myself down. I had some people who spoke to me. It was just like, yo, you gotta, you know, you just gotta realize different people, different background. What's norm, what's normal to them is weird to us. What's weird to us is, don't no, was yeah, different, just different. You know what I mean? Everybody's different. Is what I had to learn today. Life lesson. You know, life has a funny way of throwing lessons at you in the midst of all the BS that it throws at you as well. You know what I mean? But anyways, uh, I say all that to say, uh, uh, Made touch bases with him cool. Uh, around two p two o'clock p.m. He gives me a call. Ah uh, yeah man, I just wanted to know if you uh if you are uh Van Dry or I don't know what he said, but when he said Van Dry, I only I can only assume that whatever he tried to say was refrigerated. Again, language barrier. I I don't know. You know what I'm saying. I I, I hope he said refrigerated. Could have been talking about my mama for all I know. I couldn't understand it. But, you know, that's that's what I assumed. Uh, but I said, oh, yeah, man. I said, I'm refrigerated. Uh, what are you? Uh, I van dry. I said, oh. Well, I mean, you know, before I could say anything else, he said, I call driver driver development. Hangs up on me. 
didn't, I didn't even get a chance to say anything, explain anything to him, because what I was going to say was, like, it don't make a difference. You can still do uh, drive-in after we finish training. You know what I'm saying? But he hung up. And so I automatically assumed that, because this is the same issue I had with uh, the, the students that was down in Denver. Like, Swift got this whole new policy about drive-in, train to drive-in, a reefer, train to reefer. And what I actually found out, and I have a witness, um, is that it's not so much a training thing. I mean, she's the lady on a, and then I talked to a lady at Phoenix. Phoenix is, which is the headquarters for Swift Transportation. And she said it is not so much a training thing. What it is, is that, um, Swift is, is losing drivers to the refrigerated. So meaning more drivers are coming on to do refrigerated than they are coming on to do drive-in. And I'm just like, me being a refrigerated driver, I'm like, duh. You get more miles on the refrigerated, you get paid more. The fuck you expect? I mean, I'm sorry that you got one division that's better than the other. It just it is what it is. I mean, you know, you can't, you can't. So it has nothing to do with the training. You don't want this person not to get on my truck because you don't think I'm going to train them right for drive van. You just think that I'm going to bring them over the refrigerator. Which not times to Let me explain something to you about the drive van and reefer here at Swift. This is a sidebar. You know what I mean? I'm not going to go off on too much of a tangent. Let me explain the distance in a nutshell. When I got in my truck, when I came back this last time to Swift, they gave me, they, they told, tried to tell me that I had to spend 30 days out of the Richmond, Virginia terminal which I knew was BS. I already told him I was going back to West Valley because that's what I knew. So when I went and I sat down, I played along, I talked to the driver leader there and I talked to the uh, the fleet manager. And my first question was, what kind of mileage are you guys doing over here? Ah, oh, well, you know, it's kind of slow, but uh, we could probably do you get you about 1,800 to two to 2,100 miles. And I said, okay. You know, I said it calmly then in the back of my head. I'm like, ain't no fucking way that I'm about to pull this dry shit and do that. But like, and then understand this. When I went and switched over to West Valley, they I called them, they switched me over. My first load was a Hershey load, 2,000 miles from Virginia to Utah, off bat. Last time I came, this last time I came out of hometown, I went up to Maryland and got a load going to Cali, 3,000 miles. I don't care what nobody say, no disrespect to drive in, but refrigerator is where it's at at Swift. My, my opinion, my opinion. So, where I see drive in being good at, teams. Drive in teams are killing it. I will say that. But if you're talking about solo, the reason why Swift has a sliding pay scale is because drive in gets a lot of short hauls. They have. They, don't get me wrong. You're not gonna sit. You'll have a lot of uh, 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 pre plans back to back. You'll be stacked up for a week, but you have to because you got a lot of short hauls. And if I'm if I'm lying, a little swift drive van person come in the comments and correct me. But from what I've seen, I average a thousand miles a trip on the refrigerator side. Drive van is doing four to five hundred, six hundred. You know what I'm saying? So. Now, somebody correct me if I'm wrong. I'm open to critique, but this is my, from my perspective, from what I've seen. Getting back to the subject at hand, I thought that was the reason why uh, this dude won't go get on my truck. No, the reason why he wasn't getting on my truck is he told, I called driver development in, in Washington. They said, yeah, he doesn't want to haul pork. The fuck? What? What? I, I'm, I'm just, no way. Absolutely, I gotta be getting punked right now. It's cameras in my fucking. Oh yeah, it's obviously there's a camera in my truck, but it, it gotta be something going. What? Yeah, he. <clears throat> oh, that's his religion. Da 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 da. He doesn't want to haul pork. And I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I was pissed off because I lost two days waiting on this Joker, and you don't want to get on my truck because you don't want to haul pork that you ain't gonna never touch. So you ain't gonna never smell. None, and then a lot of times I don't even be hauling pork. You know what I'm saying? But more of the story, after I calmed myself down and got some wise words for some people who are way more in control of their emotions than I am, I just, end of the day, man, people from different backgrounds have, been doing uh, have different uh, 
morals. And I can never get mad at somebody for not uh, go, uh, going going against their morals and their values. So it is what it is. That being said, I'm, I'm still solo. I'm on my way to Atlanta. Um, hopefully I can pick up a student out of Atlanta. So if you're a student and you're in Atlanta or you're somewhere on the East Coast, holler at me. Um, find me on Facebook or hit up my email, truckernamej at uh, yahoo.com. I'll put it in the description of this video as well as all the other videos that I'll be doing. I need to... I be forgetting to do some stuff like one video I may forget the graphics, the next video I'll forget the music, video after that I'll forget to put the, I gotta get better on that. But um so yeah, that's what it is, man. Dude didn't want to haul pork. I don't wanna get too deep into it because I don't want to disrespect anybody. I have a, a way that I feel about it, but if I go off on that tangent, I may disrespect half of my subscribers, so I ain't trying to do that. Um, I'm gonna play the political correct. Uh uh, uh, I'm going to play that card today. I'm not going to, you know, more power to them. Uh, even though some dry van uh, freight is pork as well, you know, but, you know, I, I, I just, you know, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know. I, I, I'm not going to get into it. That's what it is, man. I'm still solo, headed to Atlanta. Hopefully, I'll pick up a student in Atlanta. Uh, they, they're going to push my delivery time back. Um, I'm hoping to still get there in time to put this on this week's uh, pay period. Uh, because if I don't, I'm not going to have a paycheck next Friday. So, you know what I mean? That's just that's just what it is, man. <laughs> that's what I, I can't make this shit up, people. This is what, this is what, I, that's what it is. He didn't want to haul pork. So, yeah. As always, stay safe, stay positive, stay productive. Got family trucking. Gone.